All right, people, welcome back. More Vibe and Why. So today is Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday. And that means that we're using uh, Leopard at Ubel. So, uh, you know, ever since it got taken off of Cam Duels and been placed here on Vibe and Why, it has been doing just fine. Wow, look at that fucking, oh my god. All the all the high-rated people want to come over here and, and be like, Sugity, Sugity, I want that low-rated booty. Like, all right, thank you. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, so this duel should go fan fucking tastically. My opponent's probably playing like the top tier of shit. And I will probably get mushed up into a paste, because. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, let me guess. No, Necros? Burning Abyss? Maybe? Yeah. No. This is pre ban list, still. Uh, DN has not updated yet, so. Jerry, what are you gonna get? Are you gonna upstart? Let's see, let, you know what, let's, let's, let's see around. Let's see how long I fucking last. Ew, that, that, that's gross. I don't want to do that at all. Uh, I mean, I guess I'll get rid of the Armageddon Knight just because I can always, uh, search for more Armageddon Knight, draw another Armageddon Knight. Alright, he's using some kind of Synchro deck. Okay, yeah, he's using some kind of Synchro deck. He's gonna get Junk Synchron and mill him off some. Wow, Junk Synchron. You, that's bad. You don't want to mill Junk Synchron. Junk Synchron's like, like one of the key cards in this deck, so. Yep. I don't play Valor, so you got it. So summon him back. You can sync for four. Draw a card. So, at least it's not as terrible. He's... He summoned and went for a synchro summon, which is a one for one, so he draws. So he just plus, you know, because junk synchron's a plus, and then he plus. Usually you neg off a synchro, off a synchro summon, except you don't neg because you plus off a junk synchron. So you go two monsters for one, but then you get to draw a card. So, you know, he's just, he's he's doing totally fine right now. So armory arm. Right now, my hand is not terrible. I, I can literally go just, you know, some Armageddon Knight, send Labradite, swing, summon Labradite, bam, Leo, where I'm over, so. Wow, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you don't even know what deck, you don't even know what deck I'm using. He's just like, wow, you got it. Like, I mean, I get that you can do those kind of duels where you can just see your hand and know, but I, I haven't even took my turn. Like, literally, all you see is Armageddon Knight. Like, like. The only thing that you know is that I'm running Armageddon Knight. Like, you don't even know what deck I'm running. I mean, you assume for my name, you will match me, but wow. You see that, guys? Beat that pro high ass rated duelist? Because I'm pro like that. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. But seriously, like, I didn't even get to do anything. He's just like, you know what? You got it. Like, wow. You, you drew your synchro summon. You went, and I was like, what? The, where are you going with this? You know, I thought it was going to, you know, I was about to go into that big old strong Leo. I thought I would say, ooh, that hand was really good, though. That hand was really good, even despite me pitching them Armageddon Knights. I drew into the other Armageddon Knight, which is, you know, at that point it's getting kind of a little bit overkill getting all that Armageddon Knights. But, uh, I got that, uh, I had that Rota still. You know, I had all that Revival. So, we were, we were just gonna do fine. Go ahead and duel against the first person. So. Need to still working on Red Icy Bell. I'm trying. I'm trying to find a good equilibrium in the deck. Yeah. Really, I really, I just need to see a good functioning Red Eyes deck, like a new Red Eyes deck. But whenever I search up YouTube and I search Red Eyes deck, they're just like, "Hey, look at this Red Eyes deck from like three years ago." Like, no, I need something from like you know, a couple like a month. <laughs> no, no more than a month. I need. I need that new Red Eyes shit because I want to run that Red Eyes draw card, but I just feel like there's not enough sevens. Like. You know, I'm just not sure how many red eyes. Melvin! I'm recording. Shit. <laughs> it's so loud. <sighs> Sir, pick your fucking paper, rock, or scissors. Come on. Like, seriously? Come on. It's not that hard. It's, not, it's fucking paper, rock, or scissors. It isn't fucking rocket science. It's just fucking paper, rock, or scissors. Choose one. And if we get even, we do it again until someone fucking wins. All right, fuck this. Clearly, my opponent he gave up. At the, he gave up. You know, my other opponent saw that he couldn't do anything. Play said I got it and left. That opponent he he knew that I had the duel winning before we even began the game. He's like, you know what? I, I just can't beat this person in paper rock scissors, so I might as well not even duel. 
Seriously, come on, let me get a duel in. Let me actually play. I haven't played a single, we're already five minutes into this video, and I haven't played a single Yu-Gi-Oh card. Like, can I play some yu gi Mons up in this video? This is a guy. This is a guy. I know you think it's a girl because his name is Amanda, but it's a man. Duh. <laughs> okay, all right. I, 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 always th I, I always think that Amanda is like the most like, you know, trap name ever. Like it's a trap. <laughs> a man. Duh. <laughs> all right. So hopefully this dueling renegade will go ahead and be my opponent. But yeah, I just need to work on. I want you know, it run. I don't want it to be too supervised based. That's the problem. I don't want it to be too supervised based. Sounds not that bad because they're foolish. No. No. <laughs> Are you using pendulums? No. Great. Like okay. Like I guess this my opponent here is like fuck pendulums. Uh, I'm doing it right now. Uh, my opponent over here is like, fuck pendulums. Like, okay, okay, sir. All right, normal summon, summoner monk uses effect, pitch of spells. I'm assuming we're going against heroes. Yep. <sighs> I hate dueling against heroes so much. Uh, I, I used to not mind dueling against heroes. It used to be an interesting back and forth duel. Now it's literally just like, summon Dark Law. I'm so consistent, summon Dark Law. Oh, give me back Stratos. Why? You're so fucking consistent. Like that's all literally all I see this deck do is dark dark law, dark law, dark law, dark law, dark law. Like I get it. You can go fucking first turn dark law summon your goddamn macro. I get it. Like you win. That's it. There's no way in hell I can fucking duel against dark law. There's no way in fuck. I might as well scoop it up right now. I just wanna know I just wanna see if my opponent is smart or dumb. That's literally all I wanna see. Cause Literally, if you have to, if you have to wait mass change, if you have to wait mass change now on the Shadow Mist, then you won't get your search. But if you wait till my turn and then go into Dark Wall, then of course you do get your search. I lose. There is no, I, I'm versing anything. I lose. I lose. I'm just saying what he's gonna do. And I straight off lose. Just. This is hand's pretty good too. And I can go foolish, send Labradite, summon him, summon back Labradite, go into a Leo. I can you know, I could send you Bell, there's limit reverse, like yeah, but as soon as I go foolish, he's gonna go if he's smart, he'll go change okay, he's gonna do it now, which is dumb. Cause he won't get a search, but maybe I could tell him about himself, but that was dumb. That was dumb. Nope. So, I hope that was worth it. At least he knows he doesn't get the search. Alright, let me see my next card. Okay. Yep, I'm at defeat. Sorry, it's a fucking walking macro. Like, I thought macro was bad. You know? I thought macro was bad. And then macro went down to one. I'm like, yay, you know, I can actually play fucking you bell. That's not fucking terrible, you know? And then fucking heroes. You know, it's supposed to be you bell's rival, you know? Heroes versus you bell, you know? And they're just like, hey, I got a walkie macro. Like, great, thanks. That's that's awesome. That's all I see. It's just that walking fucking macro. Besides drawing the ultimate nightmare, this hand isn't bad. I can just summon, send, and eventually make a Leo. I mean, I mean what? What am I, what am I gonna play? What? 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 Am I playing fucking Harold? Harold? Herald of Green Light. Like, ha, you, ha, and what happened to your tanky? Like, then why would you ask me the? Like, it's not a monster. It's not like some of the monster effect is the effect. Okay, Valor. Unless I'm running like Herald of Green Light, there's gonna be like no fucking way for me to negate that tanky on your first turn. I, and, unless I can fucking drop an MST out of my fucking hand on your turn. Fucking spell speed 3 MST sp fucking hyper quick play. Sure, sure. Like, okay, what the fuck? 
Why would you ask me? Oh, this duel's gonna be difficult. If I can get that Leo out, if I can summon that Leo, then I'll be okay. Okay, so once I summon Leo, he's pretty much screwed, unless he's running like Mirror Force. Or Regeki or something along those lines, some you know, mass destruction cards. But, uh, you know. Because his monsters pretty much target, all of his monsters target, his best XC monsters of, you know, like, uh... And I guess he was like, there's really no point in me doing much this turn. Hmm, think about just going discard, special, discard, send, uh, yeah, discard, special, discard, send, Labradite, summon Dragard, Dragard, summon, uh, Labradite, go into Leo, because first turn Leo, and I might have this dual locked down, depending on what his back row is, so, especially since I got Dark Ref right now. Thank you, Dark Reffer. Yeah, Dark Reffer, you are such a hero. You are a hero for children young and old. <laughs> At that point, you're not even a child anymore. So, Jagar, go ahead and summon you back. Go into a Leo, and, you know, unless you have Dark Hole, Mirror Force, or Regeki, you can't target me. And your deck mostly targets, you know. Your, your monsters target. Your your Sanju's target, you know, your Castell targets, your your uh your uh oh. Oh. your lightning chidori targets. So I'm sitting pretty right now. I'm so pretty. I'm pretty oh so pretty. okay, I need to stop. I'm you know, you know, I never pay attention to what I say. Like, I'm, I'm so focused on the duel that the words that come out of my mouth is just like, bleh, like anything in my mind gets stuck on, and just go off on that tangent because I'm generally focused on the duel. I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm completely insane. At least I think so sometimes. Mm-hmm. So, comma two, comma three, comma three, summon. Comma three is gonna summon Sukuji. Okay. So Sukuji can make your Senji monster gain a thousand attack. Sukuji on comma two. Okay, so he's twenty nine hundred. Yeah, twenty nine hundred because he's. 28 plus the tanky 2900. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so you're 2900, so I take 12. And comma 3 will get her effect. I hope you have some background shit, because you're gonna be in some deep shit. When these guys go back to the hand. Like some deep shit. Those all those fuckers are gonna go back. So I hope you have something. Especially since I have Call of the Haunted, so even if it is a mirror force, the funny thing is. The f Torrental. Uh, okay, well, I'll still get my effect. I saved you, but the problem is I can literally just color haunted my shit back. Hmm. That's the question, though. Do I want to do that? Also, I need to put, I need to put clear wing in here. Keep on forgetting to do that. No, I'm just gonna send you Bell. I could go send Mally. The Mally summon Mally used to summon that, uh, but. I don't believe I have a monster that's strong enough to kill him for game. With only one Synchro Summon, he's at 32, so... Nah, he would still live. Oh wait, wait, I won, I won. Yeah, I won. Because I can go send Mally. Then I can go Mally Effect. 
Mally banish to summon Mally. In attack position, Mally attack, call the haunted, summon back Leo, Leo attack. Game. So, I won. He was summoned properly. Woo! Ha. Huh. Yeah. I thought of that. I thought of that. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Just summon him. He could summon himself. We can get one more duel in this video. Told you that Leo was too strong. I mean, he did get the Toronto for me. And I guess I ran right into it. But it's still, I still pulled it off. Yes. Uh, he left himself too open on the first turn. That's the problem with these sentries. They just leave themselves way too open. They're like spirits. It's Oh, open. It's slow. <laughs> we'll get one more duel in this video. And we'll call it. Whew, you guys just sitting there thinking like, just send the alley, Daniel, don't, don't give up hope. <laughs> it's like, oh, I could go and do the Altamaya play and set the, yeah, it's not necessary. Just wrap this duel up. Wrap it up, B. <laughs> you know, at least we got one duel in this video. Alright, well, I would like to duel. I selected my paper, rock, scissors. You select your paper, rock, scissors and we can get this duel on. Thank you. I don't care if I win or lose, I don't care if I go first or second. I just want to play some yu gi Mons. Who's going first? Who's going second? Alright, you go first. That's fine. I remember when they they changed that ruling. Okay. Now. Ha ah, well. I and mean, I guess it could be worse. I could draw you Bell, but in this deck I just don't want to draw Labradite, so that that's funny. That's hilarious. That that's exactly what I don't want to draw, and that's what I draw, so. I guess I'll just you bell it up. And I'll draw Mally. Yep. So, these cards are kind of useless in my hand right now. They're like complete dead draws, because Labradite's the only normal monster. Thanks for revealing to me that you got a bottomless. Go ahead and send you go. This man just wanted to bomb with me. He just assumed that everything. Like, yeah, I'm only 1400. Now, if it was Dark Greffer, yeah, maybe we, man, yeah, you talk. We'd have to talk. You definitely would have got me. I wish I had Dark Greffer right now. Let me set this. Set this. Set this to debate and see if this is MST. It doesn't look like it, though. So he's using normal pendulums with a synchro mechanic with the flame bell guard. Okay. Oh, I cracked my neck. Ugh, this sucks. Well, it doesn't suck too bad because it sucks that he has the bottomless, yes, but if I draw Dark Earth, I can just go discard Labradite Special Summon and then he'll bottomless me, but I still got Labradite in the graveyard. And that's really all I want is Labradite in the graveyard right now. Once Labradite's in the graveyard, this duel is on like Donkey Kong, so. I will take that 1,100 from the Summon Skull, who might be going back up in popularity again. Hmm. This card is always treated as an Archfiend card, so even in the deck, it's still considered an Archfiend. Yeah, that's why you can use Pews with the... Yeah. Think I'm about to play. That's not that important. I nudge your tear or two. Ah, alright. Well... This place sucks, but you know what? I'm gonna do it because I'm clearly just not drawing what I need to draw in this duel. So, fuck it. I'm gonna have to do a play that I don't want to do, but I'm gonna do it. All right, don't don't try this at home, kids, because this this play is gonna be bad, and you're gonna be like, "Wow, you gotta go to that exchange, Daniel." I'm like, "Yeah, it's that fucking bad right now." You know what? At least I can send the wool eater. And oh, uh, and a monster leaves the field, so it's going to be leaving the field right now. Yeah, I just went there. <laughs> I I just went there, and he still has that bottomless too. Oh my God! If he didn't have that bottomless, so even if I go on the Leo, I'm gonna get bottomless and. That's no fun either. 
Uh, I wish I had. I wish I wish I could draw Dark Reffer right now. My kingdom for Dark Reffer. I want nothing more than to have Dark Reffer in my hand right now. So that's probably gonna cost me one of my arrival cards. Wow. All right, well, that changes my plays. I can do something a little bit different now, so I can send Mally. Sucks drawing Mally, and it sucks drawing. It just sucks drawing shit like this. It just sucks to draw a shitty hand. It really does. So I'm gonna go Mally effect. Banish that Mally. Summon this Mally. Still don't know what this card is, but for right now, I'm not really worried about it. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate Silver's Cry. To go ahead and summon the back Labradite. Synchro Summon into Ultimaya, which has zero attack, so you can't bottomless this that. I'm pretty much just gonna completely avoid your bottomless. I'm gonna set that, effect, and summon Beals, who cannot be bottomless. There we go, I did it. Uh, you can't. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. And bottomless destroys before it vanishes. So I figured I figured that around the bottomless. Whew! <laughs> so you can go ahead and just flip that back down. I mean technically you can activate it, but it would just fizzle. I mean I'll 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 give it to you. I'll let you keep it. I'll let you keep it. I'll let you keep it. Not even that serious. Yeah. Guess you don't want to keep it. Alright. Go ahead and have Beals attack. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. okay. Wow. Let's blah blah blah. More duel. Like, wow, okay. Fine. Attack. Quit. Like, alright, nigga. Like that uh, is that the way you treat someone who's trying to be nice to you with your fucking misplay? You misplay. I summon Beals, you have to be bottomless, your bottomless fizzles. But I was gonna be nice enough to let you keep the bottomless, and this is the way that you treat my kindness? By spitting in my face? Nigga fuck you. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> like I said, he he was getting fucked anyway, but you know. I think I got out of this shitty hand, so I'm happy about that. More revival. Alright. So I'm probably pretty sure he wouldn't be able to kill my ultimate, so I just set, go ahead and do the play again. No. And if he if he did find out a way, I could literally just go, well, still, if I let him keep the bottomless, he kept it. Because I was thinking about going in and going into one of you, which would get bottomless, but then I could just go into one of you, like the other one, and then eat up his summon's coal. Ah. Uh, but yeah. Just a terrible, wow, and the hand just gets shittier. Like, wow, I'm just drawing into shit that I don't, don't want to be drawn into. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode of Lime and Wine. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. And I will see you guys tomorrow using U-Balance Actors. All right, people. Thanks for watching.